Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This will be my second video for today. Um, I went to Walmart, uh, Walmart this afternoon, and I found two titles. Uh, first one was Pokemon Destiny uh, Deoxys the movie. It's from 2004, and it's uh, 80. Oh, sorry, 98 minutes long. Uh, it's Dove approved for whatever that's worth. Um, so yeah, it was pretty interesting. I have the other Pokemon movies, so I, so why not? It was in the uh, 374 bin, so. All right. Uh, next and final one from Walmart was a Scooby-Doo three-pack. It's the Spring Break triple feature. Uh, it's got Scooby-Doo and the Monster of Mexico, which I already have in my collection. And then it had two other ones, uh, Camp Scare and Pirates Ahoy. And they're all on the same disc. Um, Scooby-Doo and the Monster of Mexico has, uh, Casey Kasem, Frank Walker, Nicole Jaffe, and Heather North Kenny in it. Um, Scooby-Doo Camp Scare has Frank Walker, Mindy Coyne, Matthew Lillard, Gray Delisle, Bradley D. Baker, Mark Hamill, Phil Lamar, Scott Menville, Stephen Root, Tara Strong and Lauren Tom in it. And then Scooby-Doo Pirates Ahoy has Frank Welker, Casey Kasem, Mindy Cohen, Gray Delisle, and, and with Ron Perlman, Tim Conway, uh, Eddie McClurg, Dan Castellaneta, Freddie Rodriguez, Kathy Najimy, and Arsenio Hall. A lot of, a lot of famous people in that one. All right, and next up is what you guys are actually here for. Um, I got a big pack, a big box from Larry and Melissa, aka Me Dollar Tree DVD on Instagram. Um, we've got about 50 titles here, so we're gonna go over some of them now. I might have to do a, a two-part video for this one. So, all right, first up is a movie that I originally got from uh, from Katie Warman. Uh, on on Blu-ray, Brad Status. Uh, they found uh, they found the DVD for me, so I went ahead and comboed it out. Um, next up is a movie that I that I that I found on Blu-ray when I was out at, at a Dollar Tree. Um, to the Wonder with uh, Ben Affleck and Rachel McAdams, and once again, Larry Melissa found the DVD for me, so I comboed that one out too. Uh, next one is uh, an Olive Films release called Tierra. And they found both the Blu-ray and the DVD for me, so I went ahead and comboed that out too. Alright. Um, the next two are just are just Blu-rays by themselves. Um, this is a movie that I had previously and I sold and um, never um, Never got a chance to actually like watch it more than once. Um, it's a movie starring Uma Thurman and uh, Michael Ang Angarano. Hopefully I'm, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's called Ceremony. Um, next up is, is the last Blu-ray. Everything else is DVDs. Uh, this is a movie um, uh, with Phil Daniels, Perry Benson, Keith Allen, and Jamie Blackley called Vinyl. All right, that's it for the Blu-rays. Now, now into the first half of the DVDs here. Might might actually end up just being one video. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going pretty fast tonight, so. All right, first one is a movie that I was kind of interested in. Um... I don't know, I'm not familiar with any of the cast members, but it's a E1 release called Straight and Narrow. Um, this movie is from 2017. It is uh, 120 minutes and it's not rated. Uh, next up is a document a documentary called Outrage. Uh, it's a Magnolia release. Um, outrage. Uh, it's 89 minutes from 2009, and it's rated R. 
looked pretty interesting, but it's political if you guys are into that kind of stuff. Uh, next up is, is a movie called Clash of Empires. Looked pretty cool. I like this kind of stuff. It's kind of like reminds me of like 300, kind of, but it's a mixture of like 300 with like with uh, Asian and Gre and Grecians together. It's kind of weird, but yeah. <clears throat> All right, this movie is uh, from Alliance uh, Entertainment. Uh, an hour and 49 minutes, and it's. Rated 14 in Canadian, which I don't know what that means for the U.S., but um, it's from 2011. All right. Uh, next up is an, <clears throat> an Asian action film called Veteran. It's got the slip cover and it's kind of shiny. Um, it's, it's from... 2016 and it's got English and Korean as audio um, 123 minutes not rated I don't recognize anybody in the cast either but got a good slip a cool slip on it All right. uh, next one is called we could be king this is a football movie um, that takes place in Philadelphia at a high school. Um, I think this is might be based on a true story. I think it's based on a true story. Um, it's from 2014. It's a Cinedime release and a, and a Tribeca release as well. Oh, no, oh sorry, it's actually had a sports uh, documentary. Uh, 80 minutes long and it's not rated All right. uh, next up is an animated movie with Richard Dreyfuss in it called Minuscule uh, Valley of the Lost Ants um, can't really say much about this movie um, hopefully it's decent um, there it is from 2013 and well yeah sorry it was filmed in 2013 it was released in 2015 um, not rated and let's see how long it is but there you go there's that okay <clears throat> uh, next up is a uh, movie that I had some what of an interest in it's called four minutes I don't recognize any of the cast members but I'm trying to broaden my uh, might broaden my genres a little bit and that one's from 2013 and it's 112 minutes not rated right. next up is a movie that has Penelope Cruz in it called broken embraces a Sony, Sony, uh, it's a Sony release. Um, she's the only actress that I recognize in here. And I believe it's in Spanish. Yeah, it's a Spanish film. From 2010. Rated R. 127 minutes. Right. Uh, next up is a French movie, I believe. Um, I don't know how to pronounce this in, in French, but in, in English it's called Someone I Loved. This is from 2010, 115 minutes, and there's no rating on here either. So yeah, there's that. Okay. Next up is a BBC BBC release. Um, I think it's a documentary called The Secret of Cats and Dogs, Secret Life of Cats and Dogs. Uh, it's 102 minutes, not rated. There's that one. Uh, next up, I believe, is a thriller called End of Fall. 
looked pretty interesting to me. It's an Echo Bridge release. Uh, 85 minutes from 2018. I don't recognize any of the cast members either. They look pretty interesting. Next up is a sequel to a movie that I have the first one of. It's called Straight Outta Oakland. Uh, this is an E1 release. Uh, 2017. Not rated. Plenty more coming. Uh, next one is a BBC. Uh, I believe it's a mini series. There's six episodes. There's two discs on here. It's called Relic. Sorry, I gotta fix the case here. It's kind of broke. Kind of snapped out. It's called Relic. Um, I've been. I've actually been collecting a lot of the BBC series that Dollar Tree's been getting. If it looks, if it looks interesting to me, anyway. Um, this one is 360 minutes total for all six episodes. Uh, there's no rating, and it's from 2017. Right. Uh, next up is a movie called. Um, Amelia 2.0, Life After Death. Um, it seems like a science, kind of a science fiction movie. Uh, I don't recognize anybody in the cast, but it looked pretty cool. Actually, no, I'm sorry, I take that back. Deborah Wilson's in here. Uh, that's, the only, that's the only name I recognize. It's not rated, 111 minutes from 2017. Uh, next up is a movie that everybody was after this time around, but I couldn't find it at my Dollar Tree. It's called Malice in Wonderland, starring Maggie Grace and Danny Dyer. Um, it's a magnet release. Uh, it says a modern twist on a classic tale. A uh, very important date on the dark side of Wonderland. There's that. Um, this is rated R. Uh, 2009, 87 minutes. I don't recognize anybody else in the movie besides those two names. Yeah, look at that. Uh, next up is the Donald Sutherland movie with Helen Mirren called The Leisure Seeker. I didn't find this in my area either, so I, I asked him to, to put it aside for me. Um, don't recognize anybody else in the movie, but um, this is from 2017, 2018. Uh, it's rated R, and it's from Sony. Sony. Okay. Uh, next up is a movie that I thought I had, but I passed on it, kept passing on it, and then I said, "Okay, we don't. I don't have it." So I went ahead and ha had them uh, <clears throat> put it aside for me. It's called Werewolves of the Third Reich. It's basically it's mixing werewolves with Nazis. Okay, um, it looked it looked interesting to me. Um. 2017 not rated and it's 93 minutes okay. uh, next up is a movie that uh, stars Daphne Reed um, April Marcel and Rolfney Whidbey I don't recognize the other two names but I've, I recognize Daphne Reed it's called Out of Gas <clears throat> Uh, this movie is a Maverick Entertainment Group release, so it's an in, it's an independent film. Uh, it's 80 minutes long and it's not rated. So, yeah. uh, next up is another documentary. Um, it's about it's about um, September 11th, 2001. It's called Seven Days in September. Uh, seven days, 27 filmmakers, one powerful story about 9-11. Uh, it's from 2014, 93 minutes long. But it was actually shot in 2002, but they didn't actually put it all together until 2014. So, yeah. Pretty interesting to me. Uh, next one is a movie that I've been finding at Big Lots a lot, but I've been passing on it. 
Um, they found it for me. It's called Paradox. It's from the director of the Ip Man trilogy. Uh, this movie is in Cantonese and English. Uh, 100 minutes from Wellgo, USA. And it's not rated. Next up is something weird that I forgot that I had been put aside for me, but it's got Jane Lynch in it. It's called Disco Worms. It's like an animated, it's like a weird animated cartoon. Um, it's a phase four release, so that's pretty cool. Uh, 78 minutes. And it's from 2011. About halfway done now. Uh, next up is a movie that has Ellen Page in it, which was what, which is why I wanted it. It's called The Cured. It's also got Sam Keeley and Tom Von Lawler in it, and it um, and it's quoting a unique take on the Walking Dead genre. I don't understand that, but looks like a pretty cool movie. Um, this is from 2017. It's an IFC release and a Scream Factory release as well. And it's 95 minutes long. And it looks like it's a kind of like a mix between a thriller and a horror movie together. Okay. Um, next up is another Maverick, another Maverick release. It's called Till Love Comes. I don't recognize any of the actors in here, but I do like the Maverick label. I have some of their other stuff. So here you go. Okay, next up is a movie that has a really good cast in it. It's called Norman. It stars Richard Gere, Hank Azaria, Steve Buscemi, Charlotte Gainsbourg, Dan Stevens, Josh Charles, Michael Sheen, and Lior Ashkenazi. <clears throat> Uh, this one's from 2017. It's rated R, and it's a Sony release. Okay, guys, we're about halfway there. And I'm only at, like, 17 minutes, so I'll just keep going. Yeah, move some stuff around. So bear, bear with me for a minute. Okay. All right, next up is a... Looks like it's a comedy. It's called Trek the Movie. I'm not sure. It's about Mormons. Um, don't recognize any of the cast, but it looked pretty interesting to me, at least. Uh, this one's from 2018 and 102 minutes. Okay. <clears throat> Next up is another movie that has a slipcover. Um, it's got Liam Neeson in it. It's called Battle for uh, Incheon, Operation Chromite. With slope. Uh, this movie's from 2016. It's a drama and 140 minutes. Right. Next up is the Simon Pegg movie uh, that also stars Christopher Plummer. Uh, Tony Collette, Rosamund Pike, Stellan Skarsgård, and Jean Reno. Called Hector in the Search for Happiness. Um, it's rated R. Uh, 114 minutes from 2014. I like, I like Simon Pegg, that's why I got it. Alright, next up is a movie that has John Voight and Jamie Kennedy in it called Surviving the Wild. Another Echo Bridge release. 2018, 88 minutes, PG-13. Okay. Next up is another movie with Luke Grimes in it called Manhattan Undying. It co-stars Sarah Romer. This one's from 2016, not rated, and uh, 90 minutes long. Next up is a movie that has uh, Emma Roberts, uh, 
Michael Ang Angarano, Dre Hemingway, and Patrick Gibson called In a Relationship. It's a romantic comedy. Um, I don't recognize any other cast members in this movie. It's a vertical release, 91 minutes, 2018. Uh, next up is a movie that stars Ed Helms and Lake Bell called I Do Until I Don't. Um, yep. uh, also starring Amber Heard, uh, Paul Reiser, Mary Steenbergen, Dolly Wells, and Wyatt Cenac. Um, Lake Bell uh, wrote it and directed it too, which I thought was cool. Um, it's rated R and it's from... 2017, hour and 47 minutes long, from Universal. Okay. Uh, next up is is uh, Mom, Murder, and Me, uh, starring Sarah Claren and Kathy Garver. Uh, <clears throat> 92 minutes, not rated. Uh, 2013, and it's Dove approved. I don't understand that because it's got murder in the title. You think that they wouldn't do that? <laughs> okay. Uh, next up is a movie that um, Joe and Marie found at their Dollar Tree that I was interested in, and uh, Larry and Melissa found it for me. It's called Runaway Romance, uh, starring Danielle Chutran, Trevor Donovan, and Gad. Galadriel Steinman. It's an Echo Bridge release from 2017. Not rated at 90 minutes long. Okay, we're almost there, guys. Okay. Next up is another Asian action movie called Master. Uh, this is from... CJ Entertainment and Zip Cinema. Uh, 143 minutes, not rated. And it's in Korean with an English dub. 2017. The next movie looked pretty cool. I think I have another one in this series, but... Not hundred percent sure. It's called Pirates Code: The Adventures of Mickey Matson. It's got Christopher Lloyd in it, um, and Tia. I always I always butcher her last name. Um, Carrier. She was in Wayne's World. It's also got Derek Brandon, Francesca De Rosa, Kenton Duty, and Frank Collision in it. Um, this one's from 2015, 92 minutes, and not rated. Right, just a few more and we'll be done. Okay. All right, next one is a movie that other people have found, but I never found it in my area. It's got Alec Baldwin, Julianne Moore, and Kristen Stewart in it called Still Alice. Uh, this one's PG-13 from 2015, and it's 101 minutes. It's also got Kate Bosworth in it, too, which I thought was pretty cool. All right, we're almost getting to the end here. We got a few more left. All right, next up is Sniper Ultimate Kill. Um, it's got Chad Michael Collins, Billy Zane, and Tom Berenger in it. I think I might have the other ones, but I'm not sure. I'll have to go back and look. But this is part of a series. Uh, this one's from 2017, rated R. And 93 minutes. All right, that's it for the single movies. Um, the next ones are either going to be TV or multi-film collections. All right. Um, 
this one's a double feature uh, some more is the first one and the second one is women who kill I got it because of the second movie because it has Amy Schumer and Rachel Feinstein in it um, uh, some more is from 2013 76 minutes not rated women who kill is 72 minutes from tw from 2012 and also not rated as an E1 release and both of them are on different discs they both have their own they both have their own disc which is good I like that better because of the compression okay uh, next up is a TV series that everybody, that everybody was after this time around um, I actually got two copies, one for me and then one for uh, a family member. It's called From Dust Till Dawn, season one, the the TV series. Um, <clears throat> it's based on the 1996 movie that everybody's familiar with. Um, this is a 10 episodes on three discs and 452 minutes, 10 episodes, 2014, and there's no rating on the disc. Alright, everything else is going to be like multi-film sets. Um, this first one looks very familiar, so I might have it, I might not. It's called, it's the 15 Movie Family Collection. I have some of these titles already, but I don't want to go over all of them right now. But you're more than welcome to pause, to pause it to look and see what's on here. It's Echo Bridge release. From 2017, and altogether it's a hundred, it's a thousand one hundred sixty-eight minutes long. Next, next up is a, another four. It's a four film collection uh, of um, called a a dog's life collection. Um, one of these I already have on one is in here. Um, it's surviving the wild. I have it on a separate disc, but it's in this collection as well. Um, it also stars. It also has Cool Dog, Finding Rin Tin Tin, and Angel Dog. So there you go. There's that. Okay. Uh, next up is a seven. No, sorry, eight movie collection um, of black exploitation cinema. The main film is TNT Jackson. But it's also got South Bronx Heroes, The Final Come Down, Lady Coco, Velvet Smooth, Once a Thief, um, and then and then the two sequels, Once a Thief, Brother Against Brother, and then Once a Thief, Family Business. So here's the back. Here's the back. Here's the front. Okay, the last two more. That's it. Okay. Um, this one is a Another dog movie collection, Dog Days of Summer. Eight movies on here. I think I have at least one of these on another collection, I'm assuming, but I'm not 100% sure. But it's got um, Robo Rex, I Love Shaky, Nick and Tristan Go Mega Dega, Lucky Dog, Doggy B, It's a Zoo in Here, My Magic Dog, and Smitty. Um, this is an E1 release. Okay, last one is Bad of the Bone Precious Pets Collection. Eight minute, eight films. Um, it's got Where the Bread Fern Grows, Danny Boy, Little Heroes, Behave Yourself, Last Sea of the Painted Hills, which I already have in my collection, The Test, Vengeance of Rana, and Skull and Crown. All right, guys, that's everything I've got from Larry and Melissa this time around. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, feel free to follow me on Instagram at YGKBasis19. And, yeah, that's all I got today. Thank you so much, Larry and Melissa, for going out of your way to find stuff for me this time around. And I'll be doing more business with you guys next time around. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.